we have this understanding or we have this assumption that by having this money, okay, it will fulfill this. Then that is how we will, you know, have our list. But it is okay. We can examine it. So this, yeah, luxury car. Yeah, it's very easy, but what is a car for? Are you clear about that? Like in this in this campus, in this campus, okay, if you are able to walk, you, know, you can actually cover the whole thing. Isn't it? If, we are, if we are able to plan our time, then we can walk. Or if we are unwell, then we need car. If we are, uh, you know, uh, in a hurry, then we might need car. Like that. So, but it's luxury car. Not Maruti 800. <laughs> yeah, so you have to see that. For both, when you write, something is for I and something is for body. Do I have that clarity? Luxury is for I. Okay. Luxury is essentially to do with sensation. It will be comfortable, it will be all that. It will give me respect. Right? And if it has to do with transportation of my body, because I can't do myself walking, that is why I need car, then it is for body. <laughs> Okay, good marks in internal exam. Yeah. Uh, good marks. Yeah. Self. Okay. Good marks would also mean that I will get good job and good job will pay me good salary. Good salary will get me good physical facility. It would be like that. But, yeah. Good marks could also mean that I have understood. It's an indicator of my understanding. So it depends on what you are meaning by this. Wisdom. Self. Then change education policy direction. Change policy education policy direction. So if you just see this list, you can see what is the percentage of desires of I and what is the percentage of desires of body or need of body. What percentage is I and what percentage is body? Yeah. What is the percentage? Uh, this business college. Approx 75 for? I twenty-three for body. That is your list of desires. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It is, it is. That's why I'm asking for the person who has come up with that desire. Yeah. And if it is this participation or the very little. To change job for meaning. If I want to change job for money, keep changing you know, from one college to another college or one job to another, another job, 
because you are getting 4,000, 5,000 more. That is not for this. It is for money. So maybe there should be one more category. Just for the sake of change or money. So all these categories can be there. For example, I want to change my job because I have had enough with my boss or with my colleagues. I am not able to you know, see that they are living in harmony with me. So I want to change that job. So it could be like that. Okay, now this is what it looks like. So 23% for body and 77% for eye. Now you make a list of your daily schedule. What is it that you do every day? Okay? Your activities, your timetable. And find out how much time and effort you are spending for physical facility. <laughs> And how much time and effort you are spending for <coughs> right understanding and right feeling. That is relationship. What does that look like? If you do an analysis of your timetable, if you write down what you do from when you get up till when you go to sleep, try to analyze that, you will find out the answer in detail. That you can do as homework. But right now, just broadly, how much time and effort is being put in for physical facility and how much time and effort is put for relationship and right understanding? <laughs> Yeah, you will have to keep some time for rest for the body, of course. So if you need six hours to sleep for resting the body and you are sleeping for six hours, that is good. If you are sleeping for less than six hours, then it's a problem. If you are sleeping for more than six hours, that is, you know, the gym. <laughs> six, seven hours, whatever is, is required for resting the body. Yeah. So what does this look like? That I am spending time and effort for physical facility. So in my thinking, I am thinking about, you know, physical facility. In my behavior and work, I am thinking about, I am doing for physical facility. How much time and effort I am spending here, thinking about right understanding and fulfillment in relationship. And how much in my behavior is coming out as fulfillment in relationships and how much effort is coming out in terms of uh, mutual prosperity. What am I doing for that? So we can find out you know, how much time and effort I am spending for this part and how much time and effort I am spending for this part. <laughs> so it's something like that. You know, that so I'll just be you know, conservative and put some percentage for, for this right understanding. All the rest of this part is for physical facility. <laughs> Yeah, but that is not the major question. The major question is, are we ensuring this within our family, within our you know, community, within you know, college, are we ensuring this? Or are we saying that I am stuck here, so I will just share this with somebody and that's it. But I won't work on this. So we can see that for this thing that needs 23%, we are spending so much of effort.
for this which is you know most of our need we are spending only so much of effort whatever the percentage let us say this is 20% and this is let us say 80% something like that but you will be able to find out for yourself when you do the analysis for yourself Yeah, you can keep it very approximate because there is no point in doing what the idea is. Are these balanced? And try to do the balance. What is the direction? Also, you can see the trend that from last year to this year, how much of change has happened in this? This. So it is trend and you know direction and balance. That's it. So we don't have to be very precise about it. it won't help us to be very precise but it will help us to know whether this is balanced or not and whether you know the direction is correct or not like this last one change of education policy direction very important question if you are going in the right direction it may be slower or faster but we will reach there but if the direction is incorrect that is a problem not the exact quantum of it sir i have another doubt sir uh, we are working for students here in the, i don't know whether we are working to acquire the physical facility in terms of money or we are trying to work uh, that we have the relationship with the side of the yeah only you will be able to tell that <laughs> but, but what is what is what is the right thing to do you can find out you know yeah see we actually look at our desire you will see that we have three things that are part of our desire you see as our desire this we want to become something yeah like i want to become a teacher right to do something or to get something right so you will be able to tell what you want to get from this yeah. so for example you want to get some money right you want to get some insight what you want to do you want to teach something share something but this is the major question to be what in yourself out of all this what do you want to be If you are a teacher by choice, you will have one set over here. If you are teacher by chance, right? Then you will say, you know, something. Then you will say money plus plus, plus plus, but. teaching if necessary i will do something he asked actually i'll try to teach try to teach if i have to well be basically become instructor not teacher so this i'll be a instructor by not by choice by because i did find any other job so i became that as soon as i can find something i will become you know, <laughs> you know and what we are doing actually we are actually setting these things you know to become engineer manager <coughs> you know farmer etc etc all these things as a goal of life or are we putting this as goal of life for our children 
and working towards that and counting that. I was asking somebody, what do you count at the end of the month? Yeah. Most of the time you are only counting this, this part. <laughs> As if that is the end achievement. This is the end achievement, this part. So we have to start counting this. Yeah. Okay. So this was one exercise. Exercise 1. So we can draw our conclusion actually. I mean this exercise is not to make you feel that it is not balanced, your you know, need and effort are not balanced, etc. It is to, for us to see for ourselves where we are, to correctly evaluate ourselves so that we can make our plan of action. It's not just you know, to say, okay, we are all doing something not, not correct. So we need to then decide what is our plan. What do we want to do? Where do we want to reach? To have that clarity, so we have to do these two things. One, what is the goal? And two, what is the program? And I have to make my program myself. And I have to make my program depending on you know, whatever I am doing here also, that is also important. It's not just that this will come by itself. We, whatever effort we need to make in... See, this is very important, this part. This participation or meaning. I want to participate in the, in the family, in the community, in my organization for meaningful outcomes. So if I am clear about that, I can connect it to my goal and make the program accordingly. You can see actually, teacher by choice, their commitment is totally different from teacher by task. Or any, you know, anything like that. So we need to make our own Step, set of steps. And if we have clarity about our goal, only then we can take. So which one will be goal? This one or this one? So this will be the goal. What will this be? Uh, this will be means to achieve goal. The steps to achieve the goal. So if we are clear about our goal, then we can make, both are important, you know, clarity on goal is important. And the steps to achieve that goal are also important. You can't achieve goal without the steps. So both are important. That we are able to have clarity on our goal. And then we are able to have clarity on the steps. So the idea of this exercise is not to say that you know we are in bad shape, but to have this clarity about our goal and then develop the steps to reach our goal with that clarity, with that understanding. So this is first exercise. Let us also do the second exercise and find out how many of our desires, these desires, they are coming from reconditioning, they are coming from here because they are prevalent in, somebody told me at home that you, know, you should come first in class. And the relationship is sort of conditional on that. You come first in class, we'll celebrate, we'll do this. If you don't come first in class, then you know something else will happen, etc. So then I work for that because it has been set inside me. I am not setting it myself. If I ask for my natural acceptance, I can ask you 
what is more, what is naturally acceptable. To come first in class or to understand what is being said. Yeah. What is a natural acceptance? To come first in class or to understand everything that is being said? To understand everything that is being said. To be globally competitive. Yeah, to be globally competitive. It means, globally competitive means I get the job, the others don't. That is different from, you know, I am able to find out my meaningful participation and work on that. What does it mean, this is globally competitive? You have to find out what it means. But if you ask this question, coming back to this, is it naturally acceptable for me to come in first in class or to understand everything that is being said? If you understand everything perfectly, then you come first. Yeah. See, there is a very big difference between these two. If my goal is to understand everything that is being said, if my goal is to understand what is being said, what is my relationship with the other people? That of collaboration or that of competition? If you want to come first, it's competition. If my goal is to understand what is being said, then it will be collaboration. If it is come first in the class, then it will be competition. Opposition. All that. So we can find that out. Okay, so let's do this uh, second exercise. Find out on uh, you know where these desires are coming from. Whether they are coming from this sort of preconditioning, coming from sensation, or I have self-verified them, and they are naturally acceptable to me. I have clarity on the purpose of that. For example, the car. I have very great clarity that I need a car then I need to move my body from one place to another place and I cannot do it myself. You know, time is not enough or the distance is too great, etc. You know, those, that, that clarity I have. And I will buy the appropriate car, then I won't go necessarily for luxury car unless I need it. Like I will go for stick ship, if I am invalid, I cannot move the stick ship, then I will go for automatic ship. So let's see. So this is coming from preconditioning or coming from sensation or coming from natural acceptance. <coughs> Work for charity. And the test for natural acceptance is put here. For natural acceptance, I can also see that I am very sure of it. Nobody else can tell me that this is not so. It is, I am quite sure of it. And also that it is fulfilling for the other person also. It's not just for me. And also it is so for the other person also. It is so for everybody else. So if I am sure about it, then I can say that it is natural acceptance. For example, this one or this. To be healthy in body. You can ask everybody, do we want to be healthy in body? So this will be coming from natural acceptance. Is it universal? At least in the hundred people sitting here. It is the same. So this is coming from natural acceptance. So happiness in family, coming from natural life. Work for charity. See, if it is coming from natural acceptance, everybody will say that yes, this is my natural acceptance and I am going to do it. Or I am attempting to do it to the extent of my understanding. I am already doing it to the extent of my 
So, where is this coming from? I work for charity. I will be able to help people who need that help. Or, if I am working for charity, my colleagues will think good of me. Could be that kind of thing. So, you have to decide where it is coming from. And then find out. We ask ourselves, do we want to be happy? Yes. Do we want to make others happy? Yes. Yes. So, if this is what it means, then it is natural action. So, we can find out what it is. So, what is it for you? So, I will leave it for that. You know, that if it is for ensuring happiness for me and happiness for the other, mutual happiness, happiness and prosperity, then it is for natural action. If it is for my respect, fame and so on, etc., then it is coming from what? Then it is coming from three conditions. So you can decide what it is for yourself. House. So if this is for protection, then it is for it is coming from natural acceptance. On the other hand, if it is for things like respect, then this is need of I, and this is coming from precondition. But if you look at somebody else's house and then want something else, it's yeah, it could be sensation also. If we are looking for uh, a house that has, so it could could be from sensation also. If I am looking for luxury in the house, it is for I, and it is coming from sensation. Yeah. So like that. We can do the analysis of our list of desires and what conclusion you could draw from this, I want to draw your attention to that. Just like you have done this one, maybe I will just put it over here just so that we don't have to rub it. So actually, we will have to rub it eventually. So if we find out how much of our desires are coming from natural acceptance, how many of our desires are coming from sensation, and how many of our desires are coming from precondition. So if you do this exercise for yourself, you can find out authentically. And what do you think? What would be a guess? Of this. So maybe ten percent and a thirty or forty percent here. Preconditioned. The rest is uh, something like this. Thirty forty percent. Let's say 30 percent to calculate, 30 percent yes. Something like this. You will find this. So this is how it is. And again you try to connect up the effort and find out how it is being matched up. And you can also find out what percentage you are living in Swatantrata, in self-organization. And how much you are living in dependence, in Patantrata. So this 10% is how much you are living in self-organization, that is, deciding for yourself. 
So this 90 percent, they are living in dependence. That means somebody else is dictating. And is this what you want to be? You can decide, then you can say, then make a program.